Hey, Apprentistas, it is week 14, time for your overview. Now, I've got everything set up here. You're looking at this video right now first. Remember, if you click it before I put it up there, you get to go shop at Amazon. Not that that's such a great idea. It's just a placeholder. Now, let's take a look at what's happening week by week. Monday, you'll notice, no discussion this week. We've got some catch-up work to do, and I know that people are still in varying places on the bilingual or English immersion essay. I, I'm still weeding into a pile of uh, research articles that will help you build that essay, but I do recognize that people are at different times. Because of the NorCal trip, I won't be in class on Thursday. It's going to basically be a workshop day where you can work with our substitute faculty person um, who will be taking over the class for the day to work on your sentence outline, your rough draft, or your final draft in class for SA2. If you're already done with all that, you can start looking at SA3. Now, I know some of you sometimes have uh, family conflicts or work conflicts that don't allow you to attend class every single time, please just let me know ahead of time. Um, that way I can let the sub know um, who will be there and who won't. Uh, just let me know up front because I know it's going to be a strange week and some people may not be able to make it this week. So the other thing we're going to be talking about is the stasis theory of argument. That's just a big fat word for a way to build an argument um, using stasis theory. And remember, we talked a little bit about conspiracy theories. I want you to choose a theory, a conspiracy theory that some of your friends or family believe. Remember, it's something that people believe, even though there's no strong journalism or research to prove that it is true. Um, and I'll give you some suggestions here. Okay, the COVID vaccine does not work. It's only distributed to keep people calm. It's a placebo. Contrails from airplanes have mind control or birth control chemicals in them. I've heard that one. Very rich politicians and celebrities are kidnapping and killing children in order. This is a real one. I saw this too. This is like real QAnon looking stuff. Um, next coming up is climate change. Uh, so some people in a very popular conspiracy theory say it's a hoax to make people want to buy electric cars or do something else. And there are others. Feel free to Google and let me know. Now here's how your paragraphs are going to look. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five body paragraphs that talk about this and that, uh, all of these different structures. The existence and definition of the conspiracy theory, what caused it, is it a good theory or a bad theory, is it moral or moral, is it healthy, is it unhealthy, action, what should we do about it, and who is the person that should do something about it. Now, you notice I have put an outline worksheet on there that you can download and fill out and help turn this into your outline. As we get closer, we'll incorporate some least research, but we don't have to worry about that yet. Um, notice I've also put your reflection for English 1B, uh, SA2 up here. It looks like it's a quiz, but that's just so I can ask you questions and you can go ahead and type in your answers there. And again, reflection is so important because if we don't step back to think about how we did well and how we still need to improve, we're not going to improve as fast. You know, um, we need to think about it in order to make our improvement curve like go really steep and high like this. So keep that in mind. Um, I will still be having advice hours, but they will vary this week because I'm going to be on a bus for a long time. But text me, email me. I should be able to at least text an email from the bus. And I could probably find some time to Zoom in the evening if you need to talk about where we are um, in the course and what we're working on. Keep in mind, I do have your assignment numbers right here, your assignment dates, rather. 
This is going to be our last big project. The big one is number two, and we've done a ton of work on it already. So I don't want you to feel uh, like it's something that can't be done. Uh, we could still finish this all off really strong together, and we've got a lot of time to do that. As we move towards SA3 and getting that done, it's going to be something that's going to be a much smaller scale than our SA2. So keep that in mind. Don't freak out. Once again, keep asking me questions. No such thing as a lame question. Um, I've heard it all before. I'm happy to hear it again. The only thing I want from you is your honest questions and a passing grade in this class. That's my big deal, right? Um, I'm here to make sure that you do the best you can and that you keep moving forward. Uh, I don't have any pom-poms, but I'm kind of like a cheerleader. Anyway, let me know what questions you have. I'll be happy to help you um, as we move forward towards the end of the semester. Keep in mind, we're also having a completion banquet coming up, I believe, May 4th. We're not doing it on Cinco de Mayo. That would be a terrible idea. But be on the lookout for that. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.